Welcome back, everybody, to the Calf Tender Series. We have a heavyweight bout between Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sold-out UFC Apex Arena. Eve Levine is referee. Brock Lesnar in the red kits. And, of course, The Undertaker in all black. Very interesting matchup, a dream matchup between the WWE heavyweights. We haven't seen Brock Lesnar since he was suspended for, you know, performance enhancing drugs. This is a, you know, a really good rivalry actually, guys. You have the person that defeated The Undertaker and took his WrestleMania streak. You know, he popped the cherry on that one. You can see here, Undertaker looking for revenge. Brock Lesnar is, you know, he's a really good fighter on stand-up, but here we go. Really good uh, pickup there by The Undertaker. The, the, the ground and pound of Brock Lesnar is just incredible. He has the biggest hands in UFC. Incredible wrestling. Nice takedown. But once he gets you down there, he keeps you down there with his weight and just starts to chip away at your head health, your block. As you can see here, he postures up here. Nice ground and pound by Brock Lesnar. You know, you can't, you can't really make him as a calf, guys. He's one of those people that you just cannot make. But here we go, a submission attempt. Brock Lesnar is currently trying to do something, a bit of a choke here. He's usually a ground and pound artist, but him actually taking the approach to try to submit The Undertaker is, is not that far off. Undertaker is usually the one submitting somebody, but he actually gets out. Eve Levine, they're telling him to go and get started. He needs to get his eyes checked. He was in the middle of submission. They weren't just hugging it out there. You would have thought Herb Dean said something. Working the body from the north-south position. Looking to take the back. Let's see here. All right, they, they, they break apart. We're looking... For, you know, oh, nice uppercut. There you go. The boxing of The Undertaker is unmatched as well. A pure striker. Nice head kick there. Rock Le uh, Brock Lesnar. Still putting the pause on him. 50 seconds remaining. Another takedown denied by The Undertaker. It's going to be interesting to see who has the better wrestling so far because it's not only just about brute strength it's all about technique as well 20 seconds nice dodge there combination by the undertaker oh my we might be able to see another round brock getting extremely close and there you have it listen let's go to the replays the head kick for one had to be a game changer there. Chipped a lot of head health away from him. It's a vocal point of the round, as you can see here. Just knocked him so unconscious. Yet, you know, he was able to get back up. That shows you the heart and chin that Brock Lesnar has. Entering round number two, I think Brock Lesnar needs to actually just focus on his ground game and avoid the stand-up altogether versus The Undertaker. But you can see here, he's not afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the dead man. Undertaker eating a lot of, you know, punches. Oh, he has him in the clinch. He needs to be very, very careful. Brock Lesnar having some type of uh, surge. Oh! Oh, the jumping knee by the Undertaker. He's hurt. He, he looks like he's recovering, but he's hurt. He's going for the takedowns. He actually got it. That's usually the go-to when a wrestler gets hurt on the stand-up. They go for the takedown. It's a survival technique that they use. Sometimes it works in their favor, and as you can see here, it's, it's at least giving them a chance to recover a little bit. Non-stop action here on the ground as well. 
even though he's in a bad position, the Undertaker is actually doing pretty well. He needs to be careful, though. He could be in a mounted crucifix at any given second. Another submission attempt by Brock Lesnar. 265 pounds of pure muscle being applied to the submission. The Undertaker is staying extremely calm as he looks to escape said submission. Oh, and he goes to the side, advancing, but he still gets it out. Gets it out, barely, barely. If the, if the stamina was a little bit worse, I could see Brock Lesnar submitting The Undertaker. Nonetheless, two minutes remaining in the second round. Brock advancing, side saddle position here. He would want to do something as far as mounted crucifix. Even posturing up at that angle would be incredible. Working him, working him. Oh, another slam by Brock Lesnar. The wrestling is being unmatched. The power. The Undertaker is having an extremely hard time with a dominant Brock Lesnar. One minute remaining in the second round. Brock Lesnar, besides him actually eating away at the Undertaker stamina with denying the transitions, he's also, he's not getting any, you know, stamina as well. He's running out. This fight could be er ended early as far as the third round, maybe even the fourth round, because the stamina of both of them is just incredibly low. Final 10 seconds remaining. There you go. They ended right there on the north stop position. Great attempt there. Great round for Brock Lesnar. He took it, I think, maybe that round 10-9. It could be a whole different thing, as you can see here. You had the kick from earlier and then the double knee from The Undertaker. And then this beautiful takedown right here shows you the power and size of Brock Lesnar. Round number three. Here at the Cast Tender Series, they touch gloves. Respect between these two, no love lost. Professional at best. A little bit, a little bit, you know, cautious. He knows that he has the lead right now. You have the Undertaker getting ready to deny a bunch of takedowns. There you go. He does not want. Oh, nice uppercut in the clinch by the Undertaker. And a combination there and working the body. He's going against somebody who he's lost to. Oh, nice. Rocked him. Rocked Brock Lesnar. Keeps going for the takedown. Again, denies it. He needs to be extremely careful. Going against the clinch. He's doing work there. He's finding a new rhythm. Maybe adjusting the game plan just a little bit. There you go. Couple punches there. I saw someone earlier say that Brock Lesnar's hands were the biggest hands. He had to have custom gloves, guys. Custom gloves. I believe it. Imagine those big hands just hitting you on top. Oh, nice head kick there. By the Undertaker again. Knocking him down. Keeps knocking him down with the straight. He needs to be careful. He's going to end up in the clinch. We've seen that end really badly for some wrestlers. <gasps> Ooh, that could have been a nice counter there. If he would have threw an uppercut, it would have been game over. Brock Lesnar is getting desperate, throwing heavy attacks and whiffing crazy. Lifts him up. A beautiful tackle slam there by Brock Lesnar. The spear. Tries to go for another submission attempt. Good thing that The Undertaker is actually paying a lot of attention to the game plan of Brock Lesnar. Because he is not able to get any type of room of success. He had a few knockdowns maybe earlier. Some decent takedowns. But when it comes to advancing and stumbling people or just becoming a real problem on the floor, you're seeing The Undertaker adjust and actually get up. Beautiful work there. 
Brock Lesnar is just drowning the stamina of The Undertaker. You hate to see it. 40 seconds remaining. Beautiful. Another denial. Work in the body. It might be the age difference too, guys. You have The Undertaker currently coming out of retirement to fright Brock Lesnar. Work in the body still. Not afraid of the dead man on the floor. We are seeing championship rounds for this fight. A nice dream matchup. Look at this kick. Went right into it. Knocked him out. It would have been cold turkey too because he got caught. And he was blocking. That's the sad part. That he was blocking. You saw the Undertaker break the block and hit him again. We're at the end of regulation. We are going into championship rounds. Round number four. We're going to have to see some type of adjustment here. Oh, Brock Lesnar out the gate. Down the pipe. Crack the Undertaker in the chin. He needs to be careful. If he doesn't throw nothing wild, he could potentially get it. See, he's not having any confidence on the stand-up. He keeps going for the, for the takedowns. Oh, Ooh, that was nice. He, he, he dodged that. He dodged it. He needs to be careful. Oh, nice uppercut there. He puts the pressure, and he knocks out Brock Lesnar. Rest in peace. The Undertaker defeats Brock Lesnar. Revenge has never tasted so sweet. You can see here, he threw a nice counter uppercut while he was trying to throw a body hook. He thought he had him. He caught him square on the chin. The boxing skills of The Undertaker are just incredible. And added the added on strikes, which led up to the TKO. A beautiful victory for The Undertaker. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner and new The Undertaker. We're going to do that. Maybe another rematch, guys. Who knows? Let me know in the comment section. Also, dream matchups. Let me know as well. I'm out. The champion of the world, Killing Tree 37.